All right. Today is the beginnings of my, or actually not the beginnings because I've had a little bit of a head start on it, but um, the first big step of my 2023 expansion plans. So what I'm doing is I'm going to do an, a quick inspection of each hive and I'm going to take donor donated frames from each hive to populate uh, four hives that are like these down there. Little three, three frame lay-ins, uh, mini mating nukes, I suppose would be the best uh, equivalent to it. I'm taking this after uh, a guy on the internet who promotes the use of two frame, or uh, no, I think he does three frame mini mating nukes, two or three frames. Um, of course, using Langstroth frames. And I converted it to the equivalent. The idea is I should be able to put two frames and a frame feeder in there, or two frames and a frame of food in there. Um, and what I'm going to do is, once I get some bees in the frame, I'm going to take one frame of bees, one frame of food, and one empty frame in there with a shake or two of nurse bees from other brood frames. And then I'm going to take them all back to the house where I've got uh, some queen cells growing. And uh, if all goes well, the queens will emerge in this otherwise queenless colony. They uh, will then, a few days later, go out on their mating flights. And they'll come back and they will become the new queens for these little colonies. I'll let them grow for a bit. And uh, then once, they've, uh, once the colonies have filled the box, then I'll move them into my 14-frame uh, laying hives that I'm going to position out in Cameron uh, for my friend Rick Knox. And for those, for those hives, four of them will belong to him, and I'll help manage them, although I'm going to teach him some stuff too. He's going to have to help. And then four of them will be my hives, um, and we'll hope to start getting honey from them maybe later this year but more likely next year all right so here we go i'm wearing the bee suit which i don't normally do mainly because i've already taken one sting from the backyard bees actually two stings from the backyard bees and i'm just not in a mood to take chances of more today doesn't mean i'll always do it this way it just means today this is the way i'm going to do it now I'm looking here and they have had the remnants of uh, an old pollen patty and they're still nibbling away at it a little bit, maybe removing some sugar a little bit. They're really not having much to do with it and I think that's because by now they have, they're finding plenty out in the rest of the world. They don't think they need it. Alright, this first frame, this is going to be, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, they've been rearranged. I've put two new frames in here. Uh, frame two and frame five uh, were brand new the last time I inspected. And I did not bring a pen to update my numbering. So this is at frame seven, although it's what used to be frame six in this colony. And on this frame, this is not one I'm going to consider to go in that hive because they built out wide. Um, they've doubled up the comb. More than that, I'm just looking to see what they're storing. I see pollen and nectar here. Um, there is another layer of comb here. Got a little bit of honey here. And it looks like this is kind of at the end of their active nest and there are quite a bit of bees on it I'm not sure if they're store yeah I think they're storing new nectar in there uh, so I'm gonna keep this one on the 
far in and uh, as the season progresses look forward to the chance to just bring that that frame out of production uh, clean it up and get it to be uh, back to down just a single layer of, of comb there all right this one has oh what of anybody who wants to give me better information. I see one right here, two, three. They're in the midst of a comb that is worker size comb. I think what those are are simply, uh, I think they're uh, drone cells. I don't think they're swarm cells. They, they tried to shove a drone into a cell that didn't really fit it and they bubbled out further. We've got capped brood here. We've got uncapped brood. This one over here we've got more brood, capped and uncapped. There's food. At least uh, there's pollen. Don't see a lot of honey resources. This is going to be one of the frames that I take one when I decide where I want it inserted. Now this is impressive. This next, th that was frame six that I was just handling. And this one is the one that started out as frame five. And it's new as of last week. And look in one week's time how much comb they've drawn out. There was no foundation and no comb here. And all of this side is brood. And all of this side is brood. And I need to watch carefully here in case the clean is still on, on this. Probably ought to pull that other one out again and make sure that the clean isn't on that one. Definitely, if I don't find the clean, I will pull that one out before before I'm done. Uh, and what I'm doing today, I, can't, I have to be absolutely sure that I'm not carrying the queen with me. Oh my! Lots of brood. This 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 colony is ready for a population explosion. basic thing here. This could be a, a good frame to, uh, to go. I'll keep that in mind. Now what I might do, as I said, I'm looking for an empty frame, a frame of brood, and a faint frame of food. And uh, if I have to, if they're if they're not rich in food, and it looks like that might be the case right now, I might uh, instead leave room for a, uh, for a feeder. Alright, I see nectar here. There's my queen. I don't want to risk her at all in any way, so I'm going to take a minute. Oh, she just escaped to the other side. She's been through this routine last week, so she knows, or might know, 
what's about to happen. There she is. I just lost my little phone plug. Nope, I didn't. There it is. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is try to catch her inside this little pipe looking thing. Now I'm basically giving her nowhere to go except up onto the plastic. And when she climbs up on the plastic, she's trying to get down into a cell, and I'm not going to get down in a cell, but she can't go anywhere else, so she'll come back out. Sorry, ma'am, you got to stay here. I have to make sure that you stay here. got her and two other bees caught inside and I need to make sure that they're in the shade so put her there and now that I know where she is and I see there is at least some amount of honey and pollen on this frame and this is one that I want to either probably want to cycle out of production as well uh, because it's kind of uh, it's old old um, cutout comb. So now I've got my frame of brood, my frame of food, not a lot of food, but some. I may replace that if I find one that is a better food frame. Let me see if I can get my smoker going, see if I can get these bees to get out of the way a little bit. All right, I'm going to push this frame over, this frame over, and then give them empty frame to work on. And there we go. So that task is done. This little frame, this little uh, hive is looking quite good. Now, I had put frame two was another new frame and they're not drawing it out to the degree that they did the other one. They're, they've done just a tiny bit on it, and they'll do more as they need to. And then the next frame is probably their main food frame. So I'm going to leave that where it is. I'm going to bring this one next to it. Try to press those down. Come on, little bee, get out of the way. Tight, a tight fit. There we go. Now we're going to bring this one over. Try to get the bees out of the crevices. I said I needed to give an extra shake of bees. Uh, I think I'm going to let that go. I think I've got enough bees there. All right, now I'm going to come back and let the queen return to a frame. being cooperative. Right, I'm going to pull this one over closer. Okay, she is on that frame. Let's see if I can get some bees out of the crevice again. Oh, 
last thing I need is to give them this, uh, actually I'm going to move that frame that I want to pull out of production, out a little bit, slide the other new frame down. say that working in this full suit lets me move more quickly and efficiently, maybe not as cautiously and carefully for the bees, but I'm sure not as nervous about the potential of getting stung as I sometimes am. Okay, oh, I've got, oh, I have one more frame to leave them. So this one, I once again will push this out a bit, push this out a bit, push the wonky comb frame out a bit, and put one more new empty frame in place. So now they have three, four, seven frames, of which four of them are either brand new or a week old. So they are going to be growing quickly, I suspect. Now I want to get this frame back to the truck without bees escaping. I'm going to stop the, stop the video and give my attention to carrying what i got to carry. Probably needs to be in that order, too. 